Now to what was supposed to be a floating island of opulence, but has instead turned into nausea on the high seas. That's right, an outbreak of a highly contagious stomach virus on board the Queen Mary 2 and other luxury liners is ruining hundreds of winter vacations. ABC's Matt Gutman has more. This morning, the CDC is investigating at least two mass outbreaks of the stomach flu aboard U.S.-bound cruise liners. Nearly 200 passengers aboard the colossal Queen Mary 2 reported vomiting and diarrhea this week, a bug believed to be the ultra-contagious norovirus. The captain apparently urging healthy passengers to avoid the buffet and quarantining the ill. The virus, when it is present, can survive in things like doorknobs and handrails and telephones and and other things. And aboard another ship, the Emerald Princess, which docked Thursday in Fort Lauderdale, another 194 taking ill. One of them, Sue Hayes, posting on Facebook that paramedics and staff were stretched, saying there aren't enough staff to even get clean towels and the room stewards are not allowed to come into the room. And a third ship landing in Galveston last week had yet another 100 reported illnesses. The famous fabled transatlantic. All aboard Grand Liners advertising comfort, luxury, and fine dining. While there are no cures, the norovirus generally passes after a day or two. What can passengers do to minimize risk? I think passengers should wash their hands or sanitize them with alcohol rubs before they uh, eat and after they um, go to the bathroom. 16 ships reported stomach flu outbreaks this year. Cruise lines point out it affects just a fraction of their 14 million annual passengers. Little comfort to those spending their vacation in the infirmary. For Good Morning America, Matt Gutman, ABC News, Miami. You just feel for those people in the confined space too. Absolutely. That's why it's so contagious. They're stuck.